in this activity, we will try to identify the heat zones of a candle flame. For this activity, we need a pair of tongs, a candle fixed on a wooden stand, a glass rod, thin copper wire or rod, matchbox. First, light the candle. Now, hold the copper wire with the help of the tongs and take one of its ends closer to the yellow flame of the candle. What do you observe? The wire starts burning quickly and produces black colored smoke. Do you see the end of the copper wire turning black? Now, reverse the position of the wire. Take the other end and bring it closer to the blue flame of the candle. What do we observe? Is there some black colored material coming out? Do you observe the wire? Has it turned as black as its other end? No. The end of the wire which was taken closer to the yellow part of the flame quickly turns black as this part of the flame is the hottest zone. End of the wire which was taken closer to the blue zone of the flame did not turn so black and did not produce black sooty material as blue zone of the flame is not as luminous. Let us repeat the activity with a glass rod. Take a glass rod, let its one end be closer to the yellow part of the flame. Do you observe the quick black sooty material being produced and the glass rod turning black? This shows the yellow part of the flame is highly luminous and hottest. Take the other part of the glass rod closer to the blue flame. Are we observing any quick change? No, there is no black colored material collected onto this end of the glass rod. This shows that the blue zone of the flame is less heated and non-luminous. What do we conclude from this activity? There are different zones of a candle flame or the flame of any combustible material. The more heated up is the luminous flame and the less heated up is the non-luminous flame. Luminous flame is yellow in color and non-luminous flame which is not so hot is blue in color. So, we can identify different zones of a candle flame.